Hi there guys and welcome back to Naturally Rossum. Today I want to tell you my rosacea story, how I got it and how I healed it finally. So let's get started. So first of all what is rosacea? Rosacea is kind of a skin rash like eczema or acne but you only get it in the face and only around your eyebrows and on the nose that it's that's where it hit me the most and I always looked like a clown because everything was red like when you're sweating and your face turns red and puffy this is how I looked even if I didn't sweat so but yeah rosacea is a, a skin rash and it actually stems from a strep infection and that totally makes sense to me because strep also causes other symptoms which I pretty much all of them had. First of all I got styes. This is how, I, how it started for me. In every eye I had them in the upper lid, in the down lid and yeah frequently once they started they kind of spread out like a wildfire and then after one month or so the skin rash started and what I also had before and which is also strep related is candida vaginosis yeah, which is yeah what I got even way back before I started eating raw foods and since I started eating raw foods, it got better and I did not get it that frequently, even though I still get it from time to time. But that's another story. So back to the strep. It also affects the intestinal tract and can cause things like SIBO and irritable bowel syndrome. And yeah, my digestion was never very good and only got better once I switched to raw foods. Um, yeah. So how did it start it for me? As I mentioned before, at first of all I did not have rosacea but I had the styes. And yeah, they got pretty bad. In the beginning it was just a small sty and then it went away and then another one popped up and another one. And they took really, really long to get away. And even though I was eating a raw vegan diet, it took, field, I think, one, two weeks until they went away. And every morning I woke up, I was swollen in my eyes and I couldn't really see that clearly. And then I went to the um, eye doctor and he said, well, you should also go to a skin doctor because you have a rash around your eyes and around your nose and that might be rosacea. I've never heard of rosacea before, I didn't know what it was. So I looked it up and I also went to the doctor and yeah, the doctor said he could prescribe me a cortisol or antibiotics cream, a lotion and I said, well, no thanks. And online I also read that rosacea is incurable and there is not really any medicine to get rid of it. But I never believed in it because I believe that we can heal our body if we give it the time and space that it needs and with the right diet. So, well, I kept on eating raw foods and also went to a natural pass to take care of this and that was back in 2006 in August, November and in 2007 my rosacea really kind of hit me hard and my face was super red and after a while it also started spreading on my arms and upper body and 
was itching like hell and I already made a video about that before and I'll link you that down below so you can check it out well yeah and my natural pass um, did some energy work for it but she also helped me out with shizzler salts that I took daily and I'm still taking daily to get things better and another thing I did was I started taking silver hydrosol and that's what I also got from a natural pass um, and I took three tablespoons per day and whenever I feel like I caught something like a cold or virus infection I'm still doing this I'm getting silver hydrosol and I'm taking three tablespoons per day throughout the day for about two to three weeks and that helps to kill off some of the viruses and bacteria and to strengthen the immune system but in the beginning I felt like this was making things even worse and yeah my face got even more red and I thought it was because of the silver hydrosol and an allergic reac reaction to it but now I know that it was just my body trying to get rid of that virus. Yeah, rosacea also has to do with the liver because if the liver is overburdened and can't detox properly then your body is trying to get rid of the toxins in another way and in that case your face. Um, yeah and I when I, when I got this, I, I really doubted the raw vegan diet because when I ate papayas, when I ate pineapples, my face got even worse. I couldn't even eat dates or dried fruits because my face would really bloom up and things would get worse. So I started eating more greens and that went really well. And yeah, after a while, I don't know, I think it took a year at least until my face was back to normal again but still I had some pimples and stuff but it looked way much better than before and after that year I came across I don't know how I I came to it actually but yeah I came to oregano oil and I started taking it because Oregano is um, killing off viruses and it's actually a natural antibiotic just like garlic and the difference to antibiotics is that oregano oil actually kills the membrane of the virus that is in you and gets deep to the virus to kill it well and antibiotics can dissolve this biofilm or membrane that is around the virus or bacteria to actually kill it and um, get rid of it. But I'm not recommending you anything, it's just my experience that I had and have with oregano oil. Um, and another thing is that if you have uh, virus bacteria overflow in your body meaning also in your gut, then the bad bacteria take up all of the space and leave less space for the good bacteria. And this is what I experienced especially in my digestion because when I started taking the oregano oil after a while my digestion got better and then I had time when I stopped it because I thought, well, everything is fine again. And then it got a, it kind of got a little bit worse again. So I started taking it again. And it's also good to have a break in between so your body doesn't get too used to it. Yeah, and since I started taking the oregano oil, my skin was totally fine and now two years after my rosacea began I actually got completely rid of it until 
and the beginning of this year I saw that it's coming back because I got the itchy skin around the nose but I started taking oregano oil and silver hydrosol right away and yeah within just a couple of days the symptoms went away and I was back to normal but nevertheless I want to support my body in killing off whatever is left, so I keep on taking the oregano oil in addition to lots of other things, of course, and lots of raw foods. Oh yeah, and one thing that is important if there is strep in the body is to avoid certain foods because these foods would feed the virus and then it would only get worse. And those would be things like eggs, dairy, gluten, corn, which is what I still had sometimes, but well, I think eggs and milk products are the worst. And of course also a diet free or at least low in meat products would be beneficial. But that's my opinion and my experience. And I was super, super happy that I can now eat as many dates as I want without breaking out in my face and that I can eat papayas again because that's what I couldn't without getting a red face. And if you know me, you know that I love papayas. That's my favorite fruit. So, so let's come to a conclusion of all of this. The things that helped me most to get rid of my rosacea was silver hydrosol and oregano oil but of course I also did the schistler salts was a life plan to solve some things and some energy work and of course lots of raw foods and especially greens which are rich in minerals and also help to detoxify the body and yeah one more thing I want to say you can smear on as many creams and lotions as you want but most of the healing is done from the inside out and not from the outside in and sure these things help to ease the symptoms and make it yeah make it not feel as worse but you also got to do the inner work to, to finally get rid of all of this. And some other things that are pretty, or yeah, that, that are antiviral or work to kill off viruses and bacteria are of course herbs, things like the oregano, thyme, sage, rosemary. Those are all things that I've incorporated from time to time into my diet, like throwing things into my salads or drinking tea with raw honey. Oh yeah, and of course rosacea can also stem from a lot of mercury in the body. And this is why I eat my heavy metal detox foods every day and that includes spirulina well cilantro I don't even eat every day but whenever I can find it because it's hard to find then wild blueberries dulce flakes Atlantic dulce flakes and yeah I think that's it those are the four things that help to get rid of heavy metals and spirulina is something that I been eating since well many years now frequently so well I think that's it pretty much those were my experiences and tips and please be aware that this is how I did it 
and that I'm not recommending you to do anything and I just want to inspire you with, with what I did and maybe it can help you too. But of course, if you have some kind of issue, always talk to your doctor first. That's it for today, I think. If you have any questions or want to know more, please leave me your thoughts and comments down below. And I'd be happy if you leave me some likes for this video. And I'll also link you my favorite products down below. Yeah, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and was helpful to you. And until next time, remember, keep it light and simple. And as always, naturally, awesome. Bye. The important message of this video would be believe in yourself and your body because you can heal. You just need the right diet and some natural tips and you can do it. My example sure shows that it's possible. It might take longer for some people, but it's always possible. Keep the face.